God, you can't beat this football. The Saints have been a major factor in the rebuilding of this city. And with a victory today or a Carolina loss, the Saints clinch the division. Billy Cundiff will get things started for the Saints. And we are underway in New Orleans. Kickoff taken at the five by Rock Cartwright. And Cartwright is taken down just shy of the 29-yard line. Redskins start from their own 29. And this is Liddell Pitts. And Betts picks up a first down, a gain of 11. Mike Sellers, the fullback. Betts behind him. The pitch to Liddell Betts on first and 10 from the 40. And Betts this time able to gain four before he was brought down by Will Smith. James Thrash in the game, split to the left. Moss in motion, second and six from the 44. Campbell swings it out. Into Saints territory, Liddell Betts picks up another Redskins first down, a gain of 12. Well, you can see that Liddell Betts is in the game plan this week. Who knew Liddell Betts had been a special teams player or a third down back under Steve Spurrier and Joe Gibbs backing up Clinton Portis? Betts replaced by T.J. Duckett. Boss in motion from the Saints, 43, the End around to Antoine randall -El. And the former Steeler has another first down. He takes it all the way to the New Orleans 23, a gain of 20 for randall -El. Well, randall is starting today because of his play last week. He's earned a start in front of Brandon Lloyd right now, and they're trying to expand the package. This is what we saw from randall -El with the Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers last year and previous years. On second and eight. Campbell looking to throw under pressure, looking for the first down marker, and steps out of bounds at the 15-yard line, about a yard shy. He was being chased by Mark Simino. A third down and one for Washington. Without Liddell Betts on the field as well, which you can explain any sort of explanation what there's no reason why he should be in the game right now. And TJ Duck it is. Campbell. Campbell lost the football and then fell on it. Well, he's taking the snap from Casey Robach, who's playing with a broken left hand. He's got four pins inserted in his left wrist. Sean Sweezen, four for four last week, 37-yard attempt. And Sweezen connects. Split backs, pushing Carney, third and four. Breeze rolling right, directing traffic. Now throwing downfield, Sean Taylor on the coverage. The intended receiver, Marcus Colston. There's not many players that can match up with Marcus Colston in this league. Sean Taylor happens to be one of them. Colston at about 240 pounds, Sean Taylor at about 230 pounds. One of the few guys that Marcus Colston can't just bump out of the way going for a football. Third down and eight. And Bush. Is brought down at the 45 by Andre Carter. So the Saints had terrific field position, a couple of penalties, and now they will punt. And, and that doesn't look like the best offense in football. And Sean Payton won't tolerate any more. Redskins empty the backfield. And the wide receiver screen is taken out to the 22-yard line. Second down and eight. And Betts out to the... 25-yard line for a gain of three. Moss split to the left, Brandon Lloyd to the right. Chris Cooley in the slot, along with Antoine randall Third down and five, here comes the pressure. Campbell over the top, it's Cooley for a first down and more. Chris Cooley into Saints territory. Finally forced out of bounds by Jason Kraft at the New Orleans 31-yard line. A 44-yard pickup by Cooley. But he just runs a little out arrow route, a little in and out there, and now you see some bad tackling there. Missed tackle from Josh Bullock's the safety, and you can see that Cooley has that rambling ability down the field. So Cooley able to gain 44 yards. The Redskins first and 10 on the Saints, 31. 
Off the play action. Campbell fires to the end zone for Moss. Perfect. And he makes the catch for the touchdown. 31 yards. That looks like the best offense in football on that drive. Great quarterback play by Campbell. Back-to-back -back plays, getting the ball to Cooley on third down. And then play action to Moss, his favorite receiver. And for the second week in a row, a great throw by Campbell for a touchdown. Last week to Randall Allen, here to Moss. Sean Payton's got the red flag in his hand like he might want to challenge the catch. He has not thrown it yet. And cannot. Squeeze him. Adds the extra point. Well, when you got Liddell Betts in the backfield, use him. That time, just as a decoy. Now his favorite target, Santana Moss. Nice little double move on Mike McKenzie. Gets the separation. See the corner from the other side. Fred Thomas never looked for the ball. That's a great throw. And now the Saints start from their own 20. The toss to McAllister. And Deuce, age three. Out to the 23-yard line. Play action, second and seven. Breeze to Colston. First catch of the game for Marcus Colston. A Saints first down, a game of 16. First and 10 from the 40. Bush out of the backfield. And Bush up the sidelines. Out to the 45-yard line. Gain of five. And for Reggie Bush, his 80th reception of the season. He scored five touchdowns to the Saints' last two games, but the Saints find themselves trailing by 10 after one quarter here in New Orleans. Second and five from the 45. Breeze to a leaping Colston. And Marcus Colston picks up a first down to the Washington 46. Two catches today for Colston. Play action. Brees firing downfield, and the ball pops loose. Devery Henderson with a diving attempt, but could not hold on. Boy, he bobbled him, and then Sean Taylor blew him up, and now never allowed him to find the handle. I mean, look at that thing. The ball just, it, you can't throw it any better than that. But Devery Henderson has been catching those. Great touch on his deep balls. Devery Henderson leads the league in average per catch 23 and a half yards per reception but could not hold out there second and ten Bush spinning and is finally brought down a yard shy of the marker now McAllister in the backfield third down and one Popper shifting here's McAllister first down Saints finally brought down at the 26 by Sean Taylor Play clock down to one. McAllister. First down inside the 10, inside the 5, finally brought down at the 3. They love the deuce here. I mean, they love his toughness. They love what he stands for. You know, he's from the Gulf region here. He's one of theirs. And he loves the way this offense is put together right now. Enough touches for him to get into a rhythm and helps this offense go. Three receivers set. McAllister, the lone back. First and goal from just inside the four. McAllister takes it down just shy of the goal line, tried to reach the ball across the plane, but he was already down. 12th play of the drive for the Saints. McAllister stops short. Third and goal. Carney shifting. McAllister, the long back. The toss to McAllister. And Deuce. Walks it across. Touchdown, Saints. Great block by Carney. Nice job by Jamal Brown on the outside. Getting the force down. Deuce McAllister had a heck of a drive. 
And now, John Carney for the point after. Well, the Saints have pulled to within three. Second and ten, pump fake inside handoff. And Bent spins out to the 34 for a Redskins first down. Gain of 14 more yards for Liddell Betts. Off the play fake, Campbell with time, complete to Cooley. And Chris Cooley, who had a 44-yard reception on the Redskins' touchdown drive, pulls this one in for 23. Jason, uh, Chris Cooley over here, just going to run a deep crossing route. Look at the protection. This offensive line right now, Kenny, I've, been, I've watched everybody in the league. San Diego is very good. This is as good an offensive line as there is in football, and I think it could be compared to the Hogs of the eight. Under the direction of Joe Bugle, who coached the Hogs. Play action on first and ten from the 43. And this pass is caught for another Redskins first down by Antoine Randall L. Jason Campbell has pinpoint passing right now. Odell Betts, another big chunk of yardage. Close to another Redskins first down. On first down, here's Betts running hard. And Betts takes it all the way down to the 11-yard line. Loss in motion and a penalty marker prior to the snap. It's going to be on Chris Cooley. Another pre-snap penalty by the Redskins offense. Full start, 87, offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. Second and seven, Boss shifts it. Another botch snap and more flags. Full start, 66, offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. That's on the left guard, Derek Dockery, who is among the league leaders in fall starts. Now second and 12, and Betts is tackled after a short game by Josh Bullocks. Third down and 11. Redskins have to get to the nine for a first down, and Campbell's pass is short off his back foot. He was looking for Randall L. Now for the second time today, the Redskins did a terrible job of finishing a good drive. So now a 38-yard attempt for Sean Sweezum. He hit from 37 earlier. Frost is the holder, and Sweezum's kick is good. At the half, Saints look to clinch the NFC South. It's the Redskins 13 and the Saints 7. Well, if you look at the numbers at halftime, I mean, the Redskins, 245 yards of offense. The Saints were helpless to stop them. The one thing that the Redskins have done, they've taken care of the football. Campbell fires, and the catch is made for a first down by Brandon Lloyd. His second catch today, a gain of 14 yards. And off to Betts. Again, running hard up the middle. And looks to have another Redskins first down. Now that's a play right out of the Hogs playbook. That's the old counter tray. Pulling both Dockery and Samuels here. Strong side. Fans here at the Superdome on their feet. Look at this formation by the Redskins. See if they shift out of it. No. Campbell backpedaling on third and seven. Down he goes. Ball comes loose, but Campbell was rolled down. Brian Young now with five and a half sacks this season for the Saints. The Redskins break out a formation here that looked like it confused them as much as it did the Saints. The Saints are coming off three consecutive victories in which they scored 31, 34, and 42 points. First time in team history that they won three straight games, all by 18 or more points. And they're the only team to do that in the NFL this season. Only seven points so far today. Second and eight, Colston. Great hand. You see how he caught that one? Second down at nine. Off the play fake. Breeze. Wide open for a first down in Redskins territory is Terrence Copper. Little play action that time. Little play action, little crossing route that time by Terrence Copper. This is the Saints' deepest penetration aside from their one scoring drive. And it's Colston 
who makes the catch and is forced out of bounds at the 32-yard line by Carlos Rogers after picking up five. Breeze perfect on this drive. On third and three, Breeze fires. And the catch is made. Close to our yellow line, close to the first down marker. It's Copper. Yellow line is unofficial. The third quarter has come to an end. Breeze over the top. And Devery Henderson pulls it in. Here's Breeze on third down and four. This pass is batted back by Philip Daniels. So now a 41-yard attempt for John Carney, who is eight months older than his head coach, Sean Payton. Good. Pulling the Saints to within three. They have never clinched the division at home. In both 91 and 2000, they clinched on the road. They've been to the playoffs five times in 39 seasons as Reeves is taken down back at the six-yard line by Andre Carter, his fourth sack of the season. Loss of seven on the sack. Second and 17. McAllister thought about tossing it back on the flea flicker to Breeze. Instead, he is, uh, hangs on to the football and is tackled for a loss of a yard. That was a great decision by Deuce McAllister because that was going to be a flea flicker. Empty backfield. Saints will send everybody out. On third down, 19. Breeze throws to Colston. First down. Marcus Colston makes the catch on third and 19. A gain of 24 yards. Well, I tell you, Colston made this play. Just stretched out as far as he can, went backwards over his body. Empty backfield again. Trailing by three. First and ten from the 30. Reeves steps up. And this pass is intercepted by Carlos Rogers. Only the sixth interception by the Redskins this season. And the first Saints turnover the last four games. Now, who can figure out the NFC? Because just when you're ready to anoint the Saints, they come out and play like they have so far today, but take nothing away from the Redskins and how they play defensively today. Redskins, though they're out of it, no shot at the playoffs. They will finish in last place, but they've hung in there and leave this game as the ball comes loose. Pitts picked up a first down and then lost the football. It's underneath the pile. And it looks like the Redskins will keep possession. Antoine Randall-L at the bottom of the pile came up with the football. With that carry, Betts goes over 100 for the fourth consecutive game. He should get the ball a lot. There's T.J. Duckett up the middle, and he picks up a first down. That's two runs in a row now behind Robach and Derek Dock. Good push. Cut right behind the backside there. From the 41, here's Duckett again. And Duckett takes it down to the 36 for a gain of five. Campbell on third and five. Hits Cooley for a first down. Chris Cooley finally brought down by Scott Fujita after a gain of 12. I'll take a look at the protection here. Saints only rushed four, but Jason Campbell... Just poised. And a nice job just stepping up in the pocket there, standing tall. A lot of people will make the comparisons to Doug Williams. First and ten Redskins. Randall L. in motion from the Saints. 24. Liddell Betts inside the 15, down to the 10. Third down and eight. Campbell complete. And it looks like Moss was stopped just shy. Of a first down. Well, I tell you, you got it. Don't you have to to go for this here? I mean, you're up a field goal, Kenny. Fourth down, a field, another field goal only puts you up six. A touchdown, an extra point would certainly. I don't know. I don't agree with this. I'd say right now you go for the touchdown here and make it a two-score game. Instead, Gibbs will go for three. Sean Sweezy, 22-yard attempt. And Sweezum is now three for three today. The Redskins have controlled this game start to finish. Plenty of time here to take the team down and still win this football game. Steelers lead the Panthers 37-3 with four minutes remaining. So 
is no longer in doubt. The Saints will clinch the division today, but they would like to do it with a victory. Breeze in trouble, throws it away. Empty backfield for the Saints. Second and ten. Breeze under pressure, taken down by Marcus Washington. Well, there's a breakdown of protection that time. Redskins with the fewest sacks in the league, fewest interceptions, but they've come up with both here in the second half. Colston makes the catch, but right there to make the tackle is Sean Taylor, about five yards shy of the first down marker. So now the Saints facing a fourth and five, and they will go for it. Saints have to get to the 48 for a first down, and Colston is able to pick up the first. So the Saints on fourth and five go for it and move the chains with three minutes remaining. Third down and 10. Breeze with time over the middle, caught for a first down by Henderson. Kevery Henderson makes the catch at the 34 yard line, a gain of 16. Tight window there. You give Breeze time, no pressure. That throw. First and ten from the Redskins 34. Reggie Bush inside the 20 down to the 19. So he had only 15 yards of offense prior to that play, and he picks up 15. Well, they gave him a little bit of room, and you put Reggie Bush in space, he's going to make instant offense. Bush in the backfield, three wide receivers. Copper in the slot, Henderson split left, Colston split right. Please, looking for Colston broken up by Springs. Watch Springs here and Sean Taylor squeeze Colston. Well, that ball got, you see that Sean Springs got a fingertip on that ball. Second and ten. Inside handoff to Bush. Broke one tackle. Took it down to the 15-yard line. Remember, the Saints need a touchdown. They trail by six. Catching their breath right now. Trying to see if they've got two more good plays of defense left in them. The Saints have Bush and Aaron Stecker on the field. Third down and six. Colston in the slot. Copper split to the left. Stecker in the right slot. And Henderson split to the right. Decker in motion for the Redskins 15. Breeze sets up the screen to Bush. And a terrific job by the Redskins defense. Andre Potter along with Cornelius Griffin. So the Saints need to get to the Redskins nine for a first down. Empty backfield fourth and eight. They trail by six. Breeze. To the end zone, it is broken up by Carlos Rogers. So the Saints turn it over on downs. The Redskins will take over with 47 seconds remaining. And the entire Redskins sideline erupted. Went to their go-to guy there. The copper here. Great play by Carlos Rogers. Rodgers had the interception earlier. Saints have only one timeout, so the Redskins will be able to run out the clock. Redskins will run out the clock here at the Superdome, so the Redskins will raise their record to 5-9. and nine. Saints drop to 9-5, and five, but they will clinch the division title. Great defensive performance by the Redskins. Start to finish, constantly got off the field, and uh, the Redskins should feel good about their performance here today. The all-around all effort by everybody on that defense. They held New Orleans to a season low 10 points.